It's, ge it's a genetic disease, so everyone's born with it. I like the tattoo. I've, I've had my blog for about five years, but it's really interesting because before it was just for me, but now people actually read it. So yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, 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 it's cool, but it's kind of intimidating too. You get to I don't random know. people. I get random people now. Like yeah. Then I also feel like you become a representative for like a yeah. community, for, for, yeah. for voices of the community. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Sure. Yeah. Then it's, I mean, it's great to get all that support and everything, but I think also sometimes it's tough because when you do get bad news, yeah. it's like having to tell everybody that you know you're one yeah. step further down the road, or right. things aren't going so well, or you got a test result back that's not what so good. What are the responses like from people on the blog? So? Just a lot of support. Yeah, yeah. A lot of support. I was, yeah. I've always been worried that it, that it wouldn't be supportive, that people would judge my actions or, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, think that I'm taking too many risks or yeah, yeah, things yeah. like that. My name is Ava. I'm 23 years old. And I have a genetic disease called cystic fibrosis. Ava is at the point where her lungs are no longer functioning and uh, they, they, she needs a transplant. We think her life expectancy would be under two years. This pager means that I am on the list. I'm number one on the list for my blood type. So when the call comes, I'll be getting a double lung transplant. My friends are great. My family is amazing. But I mean, they can't be with me all the time. So I go online to connect with people. Out of the thousands of people, I found two girls that I really connected with. Kina. She is a warrior. You just depend on other CF patients, and that's why I, I live online. Even though everybody's being supportive, sometimes you just want everybody to go away, because it's like you don't understand, you don't. Sometimes it's hard to see a future for yourself when you have this fatal illness kind of floating over your head. <coughs> There are ups and downs to knowing other people with CF. The ups being that you can talk to someone who truly understands the downs that they do get sick and it hurts. Waiting for lung transplant is a lot harder than I thought it would be. It could be literally today. It could be two years. I don't know. I am waiting for someone else to die and I can't plan that. The film helped me a lot in terms of getting through a time period when I didn't have anything else going on. It came to a very clear point to, to me when I didn't want it to be explored anymore, but that's because I was better. I had the transplant, I recovered, my life was on its way. I had my job, I had school, I could drive, I was living with friends. There was no real need for me to be involved online anymore. I had my outside world again. So now that I have chronic rejection, I'm losing that again. I'm losing my independence, I'm losing my ability to connect with people again. And I'm finding that I need that online support again.